Right, you guys got another video here for you today we're taking a look at updating that old bios now the other day i noticed on this system that me bios was pretty outdated and i wanted to update it because i'm looking to upgrade in the future so let's first go to system information and we can take a look inside system information here we can get our bios version and our motherboard uh, make as you can see on the list here if we'd look on this list you'll see that the motherboard is the tough gaming x570 plus wi-fi and you can see uefi is the bios mode and we can also uh, see on here the bios version and it will tell you the date here the first of the eighth uh, 2019 you can also use free programs like cpuz cpuz is a free tool that gives you plenty of information about your CPU, your motherboard, and other stuff like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at CPU-Z quick. I'll just let this fire up, and then we can have a look at CPU-Z. It's going to open this, and you can see under the CPU, it tells us what the CPU is. If we go to the main board, which is our motherboard, you can see it tells me it's a Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi. It tells us it's an Asus and it also tells us down here the BIOS, the version 1005. And you get a load of information like the date and things like that. You've also got information here about the memory and all your timings and all that sort of good information, which is quite useful. So now we have that information, we can head over to the manufacturer's website of that motherboard and check out the BIOSes that are available for this motherboard. So this is my motherboard here, Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi. And again, all we need to do here is go for the CPU and memory support here. You can check all that information here. You can also go for the driver utility and you can put in the version and it will give you all of the drivers for that motherboard. But what we're interested in here is the actual BIOS and firmware. So you click on this one here and it will tell you the latest BIOS version 4403. As you can see, I've not updated this BIOS in a very long time. And that's because it's working perfectly fine and I had no reason to update it. And that's going to be uh, your choice whether you flash or update your BIOS. But you can see here, by using the latest BIOS, it's going to allow you to fix AMD's FTPM issues causing random stuttering. It also gives you some other information here. So let's check back and see how far back our BIOS is. So by looking at the version number here, you can come all the way down and you can see there is tons of BIOS updates available. And these will offer loads of fixes bug fixes, improve stability, and things like that. Now, what you're trying to avoid here is beta versions. You don't want to be flashing your motherboard BIOS to a beta version. Try to steer clear of those ones there. Now, like I said, we can got to go all the way down here for our latest BIOS that we have on our system. Now, remember, my BIOS was 1005 and it was also in 2019. So this is my BIOS that I have on this motherboard. So anything after this is gonna be an update. Now read the description here because this is important. It will tell you whether you need to install this BIOS version before you can go to the next BIOS version. It will also tell you that you will not be able to downgrade your BIOS after updating to this BIOS version, as you can see here. So bear that in mind, once you start flashing BIOSes. Okay, so should you update your BIOS? And when should you update your BIOS? Well, the choice is gonna to have to be yours, but it sort of says it right here. If you're having an issue with FTPM issues causing random stuttering, which I've had when I've had uh, playing a game and I'm on Windows 11, this might fix that issue. So if you're having some sort of issue like instability, or some sort of RAM issue because you've built a brand new PC and you've got RAM and it's not on the compatibility list. They may have added 
that RAM to the compatibility list, which will then make it uh, run a lot better. You may be having issues with timings, or you may want to upgrade the CPU on that motherboard, and you won't be able to until you update your BIOS, because it might say you will need this BIOS update to run the next generation of CPUs. Loads of reasons why you would need to update your BIOS. But remember, there's no real need to go out and update your BIOS unless you really need to update it. So that's enough waffling on. Let's get on with the update here. I'm going to download the very latest version here. And here it is right here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to open this up and we're going to drop this onto a flash drive. OK, so let's go ahead and open up this PC. And you can see here we've got a drive here. I'm going to right click on this. And we're going to format this to FAT32. We're just going to say start and click OK. It will erase all the data on that drive, but that's OK. And then we got our drive ready. So all I need to do here now is basically copy the file over to that drive. And you can see it's being copied over. And I'm just going to leave it in this root directory of that drive. So now we're ready. So now we need to boot to our USB flash drive. So you may need to push any one of these keys to get into the BIOS. I'm going to be pushing either F2 or the delete key, as you can see at the bottom of the splash screen here, that flashes up very quickly. Your motherboard BIOS key may be different to mine, so just check. Once you've done that, you should be able to get into the BIOS, and we've already got the USB flash drive still plugged into the computer here. You really want to keep that USB flash drive plugged into the motherboard at the back of the computer. That's the best place for that USB flash drive. So what we're going to do here is going to go to advanced mode, Click on the advanced mode, and this will allow us to see some more options available. So now you should see up the top there, we've got a menu. I'm going to click on tool here so we can get access to the easy flashing utility here. So let's go to tool and click on this one here. And you should see the Asus easy flash utility unless you're using another brand of motherboard. Once we click on this, you'll see, please select the BIOS update method. You can either do it via the internet or you can do it via a storage device, which will be your USB flash drive. So I'm going to be clicking on that one there. And what it will do is it should show you uh, the BIOS flash drive uh, that we've just created in the list here. Now you can see the version of our BIOS listed up the top here, 1005, and it tells you the date that that BIOS was installed on that motherboard, as you can see here. So we do have the information inside here. So all we need to do is click next. Now on your flash drive, if you've got the root directory and you dragged it in there on FAT32, you will see the file named Tough Gaming or whatever file yours is. Click on this and it will say important notice, please back up your BitLocker recovery key uh, and suspend BitLocker encryption before you continue. Also, it's going to say, do you want to read the file? It means the flash file that we've got on our uh, flash drive to flash the BIOS. And it's going to say yes. And then we can say, do you really want to update your BIOS? Now, why is it warning you about these things? Well, if things go wrong during this process, like your PC shuts down, or maybe uh, you have a power cut, or whatever reason you stop the process during the flashing process, and it's already erased your BIOS, you will then have a bricked motherboard. Now, people make very light humor about this and say, oh, it's not a big deal. It's never happened to me. So it's never going to happen to you. But unfortunately, uh, it can happen and it can brick your motherboard. So you have to be ultra careful uh, during that process. Just make sure that you're not doing anything. It won't let you touch the keyboard or anything like that. It will disable it. But you just don't want to interfere with the power of that computer while it's flashing the BIOS. Once you're done, it will do a bunch of little restarts here, and then you should see something like this. I'm going to push F1 to run the setup to get into the BIOS again, and there we are. Now, there's many different ways of flashing the BIOS, and what I would advise you to do is use this method rather than using the flash button on the back of the motherboard if you do have one when you have no CPU in the socket for just a normal BIOS flash, and that's because you can't see uh, the GUI on the screen here to let you know what's happening. 
you're basically relying on a flashing light that flashes on the motherboard. That is only used for when you want to upgrade your CPU and you don't have the CPU to hand. That's what that method was for. It wasn't for flashing BIOSes and all different types of BIOSes at all times. This is the method that you use. Now up here you can see we've already flashed our BIOS and it's updated. The BIOS has got the latest version on here. We have got the BIOS screen and everything is working fine. I'm at the desktop and as you can see, everything went smoothly. Now hopefully yours went smoothly as well, but only flash your BIOS if you really need to. If you're having no issues, then leave it well alone. So remember BIOS flashes are going to fix any instabilities with the system or any sort of uh, memory or any CPUs that you want to upgrade to at a later date, or maybe it's a case of any sort of patches for any security flaws that they found in the system, which people can exploit using uh, the BIOS. So they will flash it. So if you've got the need to do all of these things, then by all means, go ahead and do it at your own risk. If not, then leave it well alone. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big special shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Also, a special shout out for my tier three uh, members, Albert Hewson, Mar Sierra, Jedi Buddhist, Welsh Tony One, Phil's Computer Repair, and Geo Sam. See you in the next video.